Hello there, I am Giant Grodel with more Pokemon Yellow. In the last part, we took on our rival, Sean, in the Championship Pokemon League Battle. We beat him, and uh, now we're going to take on Swan Cave now that we can access it, because you have to beat the Pokemon League, to, um, or the Pokemon League, and the League 4, I guess you could say, and the Champion, of course, your rival, to get um, access to the Swan Cave so it's open, so that guy doesn't block the doorway and entrance anymore, basically. So let's use, um, not strength, I meant to use surf. Cheese. Fine, surf. Yeah. So basically, I think all you need for this to get through Sewing so Cave and to get to Mewtwo is, I think, surf, really, because I don't think you need strength at all. But you might need strength, but I'm not even for sure. Jeez. Okay, let's put a repel on, though. Let's see, we have, uh, how many repels do we have? We have 24, not 23 after this one. Okay. That's not so bad. Now, Gamma is level 65, I should point out, and it's top, it's the, he's the first, po it's the first Pokemon in my party. So, whichever your first Pokemon is on your Pokemon party list, uh, it'll appeal, um, Pokemon, the, like, for example, Gamma is level 65, so, it's, uh, Gamma will repel, uh, Pokemon in Sword and Cave that are level 64 and below, but not level 65, because it's the match, ma the same level. It matches the um, possible, you know, what Pokemon that I could, I could encounter. And um, anything above 65 really can also be encountered just even with that, if we, even with using repels. So keep that in mind. So let's make our way to Sewell and Cave actually. So yeah, this is for now. It's gonna be the, this is the last video of this project basically. Uh, yeah, let's get to taking on Sewell and Cave and that's really about it. There's this trainer back here. Said as a Paris, but I'm not gonna battle her. Or say I accidentally run into her. But she's way over. She's like over there. I don't want to battle her honestly, cause this is. I don't want to waste time honestly. But I think there's a. I'm pretty sure. I'm like 80% sure there's a trainer to the far left of this pathway that I'm on, and she has like a parasect, I think. So yeah. So, uh, this is a big puzzle, so let's just, uh, let's get on a bicycle, actually. But then again, we're just gonna get off it and your surf, of course, because we have to use surf right here. I think the red, blue, and yellow sewing cave is a little bit different laid out-wise than, um, the fire and leaf green. Here's a max elixir, cool. Oh, it's talked to Pikachu, I didn't mean to, but yeah, cool. Pikachu's excited to catch Mewtwo, right? <laughs> cool. Let's, uh, go for the surf again. Okay. This, but this shouldn't take too long to get to Mewtwo if I can't, if my memory serves me correct. Um, I just don't remember the puzzle really. I'm just gonna go on a random path. I might not get all the items, obviously. I'm probably gonna skip out on some items, like the one you just saw there on the top of your screen right there. Max are up nice. Except for this is not in the game, so like, it's not even really worth it. Well, it's worth picking it up just to show it, I guess. But yeah, I probably won't get that item right there you see right here, um, because I might, I, I might not go that way. Uh, I haven't practiced the puzzle, so I'm just winging it here. I'm going off of a slight memory, but uh, hopefully I end up the same, in the right place. Okay. An Ultra Ball, nice, okay. Okay, we go down here. I think I'm hoping I'm not going like in circles or backtracking by mistake. There's the item again. Of course, it's taunting us. That's okay. We can go back and get that item, I guess. Just because I see it in sight, you know, it's whatever. Okay, here's the full store. Again, items really don't matter, except for the Pokeball and stuff, but if you could probably already guess, I'm going to use the Master Ball Mewtwo to make my life easy, honestly. Because uh, we caught all the legendary Pokemon, really, and uh, we can use our Master Ball on Mewtwo because he's like the hardest to catch, I think, in my opinion, for Gen 1. Cause he's, just because he has powerful moves like Psychic, he has, I think his moveset is Psychic, uh, Swift, Barrier, and Recover. I think that's his, I'm pretty sure, I'm like 90% sure that's his, his um, moveset. So that Psychic hits hard, that Swift never misses unless you're in there underwater or underground. Uh, maybe it still even hits when you're underground if you like use Dig or something, you know? But yeah, let's use a um, Super Repel again, I guess. Hopefully I'm at least in the general direction of where I need to be. Um, 
Yeah. Worst case scenario, if I do if I do not find me a tune in a reasonable amount of time, then I can just use this as like a practice run. But if you're watching this now, that means that I, uh, found, I'm gonna find my way to Mewtwo, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. I don't think this is the right way, but we can go explore, and it's always good to explore a cave. I guess it's always fun. Is that item down here? Yes, there is. Okay. A rare candy, nice. We honestly might want to give that to, uh, Gamera, because I think the the only Pokemon I'm probably not going to be able to repel is, uh, Ditto's, because they can reach, like, level 65 in this cave, and that's, like, the highest level I saw on Bulbapedia when I was re researching, uh, Suwon Cave for Generation 1 for Red, Blue, and Yellow. So I might want to give a, um, that Bear Candy to, uh, Gamera, because, um, it'll be level 66, and it should repel the Ditto's then. So, yeah, give him a good level 66, awesome. So that's a good idea, I can show you. If you, I guess, if this is the right way, um, just follow the route I'm taking. But don't t don't follow my route if I know I'm gonna be, if I know I'm gonna not get lost. But hopefully I'm not getting lost. Hopefully I'm going the right way. Oh, there's an item over there. Nice. Let's get it. Max looks are cool. They give you a lot of great items in Sword Cave because it's like the ultimate cave of the, in the game. You know, it has the most powerful Pokemon and stuff. So that makes sense. Oh, there's another. Oh, there's two items. That's kind of. Odd though, is like a tr is it a trap or something to put two items right next to each other like that? No, Max Survive, awesome. Although I won't be using any of these items on Ultra Ball, nice. I have Pulse Effect off. I won't be using any of the items items really because this is the last part or last video of the project really. So that's a bummer. But I, again, I don't want this part to be super short. See. Uh, so far right now I'm in like, I'm at like 7 minutes and 25 seconds in recording time, but in editing time, in actual time when this is actually being uploaded to YouTube, I guess I'm probably on the 7 minute mark by now. Cause it takes me like 30 seconds to sync the game. I took, cause like, I like go down the full menu. Actually I'll show you how I sync it really real quick. Here's another ultra one, nice. I think we're getting close and close to meet you actually, this looks familiar. Cause I saw like snapshots of AV4 of the Suwon Cave by the way too. So I'm just gonna want of what I saw really. So yeah, this is how I sync like each part of this project so far. It's like go like, okay let's sync this, okay. Pokemon, item, Steven, save, option, exit, option, save, Steven, item, Pokemon, Pokedex, A, B, and B. And the reason why I go to the Pokedex is because uh, if you like go say I go to like my training card or whatever, uh, when you open the menu again, it pops. It leaves it at the Steven uh, option. But if I go to Pokemon and then back out of it, Pokedex, I mean, and go back out of it, when I pause it again, it'll go um to the very front because I like how to keep it at the front at the beginning of each part, so it's not like um at a random you know different spot in the menu. If that makes any sense, then I probably explained that somewhat right. There is Mewtwo right there. I did go the right way. Awesome. So yes, we can use Night Item. Dang, I meant to use Surf. There we go. Nice. So here is Mewtwo. We didn't run into a single wild Pokemon other than Mewtwo because we want to purposely run into Mewtwo. Mewtwo is a wild Pokemon. Let's talk to it from the side. Mew. You know you're Mewtwo, silly goose. Let's battle. Mewtwo is going to be level 70 with the moves Psychic, Barrier, Swift, and Recover. It's level 70. It's four levels higher than us. Let's go for the Master Ball. It'd be funny if the Master Ball just failed right here. Because sometimes it has a chance at failing. One, two, three. We caught it. Awesome. Alright, Mewtwo is caught. Yay, we caught it. Nice. Uh, new, new data was added for Mewtwo. Mewtwo, the genetic Pokemon. It's six feet, seven inches tall, the same height as Adam Wainwright from the St. Louis Cardinals. Adam Wainwright, now pitch, batting ninth, number 50. Okay, batting ninth, pitching, number 50, Adam Wainwright. Yeah. Okay, um, it weighs 269 pounds. Um, it's number 150 in the Pokedex. It says it's, it's Pokedex entry set, Pokedex entry says its data is almost the same as Mew's. However, its size and dis disposition are vastly different. That's a cool Pokedex entry. Do I give the nickname to Mewtwo? Yes, I do. Let's give, uh, hmm. 
Hmm, you too. Um, let's name it Mew also. <laughs> it's a bad nickname, but whatever. Mew also. Like, also as in, like, two. T-O-O. -O. <laughs> you see what I did there? Mew also. Mew also. There we go. Mew also? It's like saying, like, with a lot of expression, but also as a question. Mew also? <laughs> Mew also was sent transferred to Bill's PC. Cool. Let's use an escape rope to get out of here, because I'm too lazy to backtrack all that. All of what we just, uh, had to go through and whatnot. Okay, just pass the escape ropes, probably. Yeah, there we go. I have two more escape ropes. I never bought a single escape rope in this playthrough, and I still have two left over a while, because uh, we collect that many during the game that we don't really need. So let's look up its beautiful stats and whatnot in the PC. So I didn't mean to press down there so many times. Jeez, okay. Let's go to Bill's PC. Um, let's go to... Oh, we have to deposit a Pokemon first. Okay. Let's deposit Lavender, I guess. Lavender Sword and Boxman. Okay. Mew also? <laughs> uh, let's go for the stats. Okay, so Mew also has level 70. It has 236... HP has its max amount of HP. It's only a psychic, it's a pure psychic type, I should say. It's number 150 in the Pokedex, like I said before. Its attack is 161, its defense is 146, its speed is 196, and its special is 240. That's like really good. Legendary Pokemon have like some of the best deaths of any Pokemon in the game, really. Because they're legendary Pokemon. I was right on its moveset. You know, Swift, Psychic, Barrier, and Recover. Nice. It's gonna take 18,638 experience points to level up to level 71, though. So, yeah. I like its sprite, though. Looks like it's, uh... Oh. It looks like it's dry humping, though. Never mind. I don't... I don't know. Like, it just looks like it's thrusting its way forward. Like, uh, 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 uh. But, yeah, that's kind of inappropriate, Mewtwo. Where to go? You got me... You got me going, Mewtwo. Um, and you got me talking dirty, but when I didn't really want to. All because your sprite is dirty. I, 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 what, I don't even know anymore. I, I, I just, Mewtwo should feel ashamed for, uh, coming, making me come to that. Uh, like, like, making me, um, like, making me just think of that way, I guess, because it's sprites. Some of the Pokemon sprites throughout the ga Pokemon games are kind of inappropriate, to be honest. So, uh, let's fly back to Pallet Town, although we don't have a Lavender. Let's go get Lavender out of the PC real quick. Why not? I forgot to get Lavender on the PC. Apparently I have to deposit a Pokemon to see a Pokemon to withdraw a Pokemon, but have the option to look at stats. But that makes sense, I guess. Ay ay ay, okay. Um, let's go for the... Bill's PC, of course. I had to think there for a second because I zoned out a little bit. Let's go for the withdraw Pokemon. Let's go to withdraw Lavender again. Cool. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to fly back to Pallet Town and end the game in our room where we started the game. How about that? You don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to go to Tabasco. Jeez, no, stop it. Keep on clicking on Storm by mistake. Pallet Town, yay. Let's see our Pokedex real quick. We have a, we've owned 30 Pokemon and we've seen 135, I should say. So we never caught a Caterpie or a Metapod, we do, we, we, oh gosh, we haven't even seen a Pidgeot yet, wow, okay. I think that makes sense, because we haven't, you have to like evolve, evolve your Pidgeot to basically see Pidgeot for your Pokedex. Clefable, you didn't say Clefable. Did I miss one up here that, like, I don't think so, no I didn't, okay, cool. We didn't see a Vileboom, because they evolved by, Gloom evolves by a Leaf Stone. We didn't see a Psyduck for some reason. We seen a Gold Duck. Um, what else? We haven't seen a Polyrath because Polo evolves by trading. Mmm, all these cool Pokemon. We haven't seen a Golem because Gravel to evolve Gravel it needs to be traded, I guess, like like um Polywill does to get Polyrath. We didn't see a Krabby for some reason, but we've seen Kingler, okay. Oh, there's a lot of Pokemon right here we haven't seen. We have, I thought I saw a Scyther though. Oh yeah, we have seen Scyther, okay. I forget, I don't even know what 20, 125, 126 Pokemon are in the Pokedex, really. Magikarp, yeah. We haven't seen... 
I don't know what Launcher 32 is either in the Pokedex. We haven't seen all these Pokemon. We haven't seen like a, I think one of these is like Electabuzz or something. We haven't seen any. We haven't seen like a big chunk of the Pokemon at the end. We haven't seen a Dratini, but I, can, I think we can buy a Dratini at the Game Corner or something. Or maybe catch one in the Safari Zone. So yeah. I think we haven't seen 16 Pokemon if you want to count Mew. Mew has to do a glitch. I don't know if, if you catch Mew in the glitch, if it counts as your Pokedex, if you catch it. And I end up as if you've seen it too. So yeah. So. All that's left is we can talk to our mom again and go back to our room and go to bed, right? <laughs> that's what we're gonna do, really. Plus, we're to off. Cool. Okay, so mom, okay, mom says, Steven, if you drive your Pokemon too hard, they'll dislike you. We should take a rest. Cool. Oh, good. Your Pokemon, you and your Pokemon are looking great. Thanks, mom. Take care now. Thanks, mom. Let's go back up to our room. This is where it all started. We're gonna play the SNES, even though it says we have to go. Yeah, okay, Steven is playing the SNES. Okay, it's time to go. We did everything in the game, basically. Except for catch them all, but yeah. We can't go on our bed, which kind of stinks. But, uh, we can do this, where we get close to our bed and whatnot. And try to go to sleep, you know, we can't even get- We can't even walk in our bed, or jump on our bed or anything. Kind of stinks. I don't think we're gonna be able to sit on your bed until, like, X and Y, really, to be honest, in the Pokemon game series. So, yeah. So this has been the end of my finale for the Pokemon for my Pokemon Yellow walk through guide part uh, walk through guide I should say. So yeah. So this has been Janko again. I would like to thank you goodbye and thank you everyone who watched my Pokemon Yellow walk through guide. I'll see you guys in my next video. And by the way, I don't have a hint for uh, my next project because my next focus basically is going to be focusing on finishing the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX and Super Mario Odyssey by the way. Once I'm finished with one project I'll focus on the other two and I have three going on. Basically this is how it's going to go. I have three projects that I started at one time you know Odyssey, uh, Link's Awakening DX and Yellow. Uh, I'm, I'm obviously finishing Yellow right now it, hence the finale of this video and in the title and whatnot. So I'm going to be focusing on finishing Super Mario Odyssey and uh, The Legends of the Link's Awakening DX. I don't know which one I'm, I'm going to finish first, obviously. It's just, I don't know off the top of my head. But um, I'm going to be focusing on these two projects. Then once Odyssey or, you know, Leg Link's Awakening DX is finished, I'll be focusing on the last project of the three. And then after that, I'll be moving on to another three projects once these three projects are done. And then going through the same process of like finishing one at a time or finishing one while the other two are going, obviously, like I'm doing now. My phone went off, so I have like a text message or something, a notification. So yeah, so that's basically I'm going to be doing it for my channel because I'm doing multiple projects again, as I have announced when I started these three projects together. Well, I started uh, Link's Awakening DX before I started before I decided to go back to doing multiple projects for my YouTube channel. So yeah, that's basically explaining that. So I'll see you guys in my next video.